guys, Eric Garland here. Got a very cool new bass to show you guys. Once again, from my friends at the Eastwood Company up in uh, Canada. This is their Airline Map Bass. It is a 30-inch scale. I'll give you the details. Let me just give you a quick list in general of things I don't like about basses. I don't like strange colors for the most part. I'm more of a, a sunburst kind of guy. I don't like 30 inch scale if I can avoid it. Um, I don't like weird shapes uh, and I don't like hollow body like uh, polyurethane kind of feel uh, in general. But this thing is cool man. I'm really excited about it. I'm actually shocked to be surprised uh, to, to be excited about it. Uh, it took a little time to grow on me and uh, experimented with the different sounds, some of which you heard um, for a while. This thing is an incredibly functional bass, and I can think of a ton of people who would use this as their main axe. Um, it's based on the old airline uh, basses of, I think, the late 60s. People like David Bowie and other rockers would use these. I come to uh, understand that these go for between three and five thousand dollars now the originals on the market and of course Eastwood's great bag of tricks is they take very cool stuff um, from these other area uh, these other eras and update them and manufacture them to modern standards and they're much less expensive and they sound just as cool very 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 cool so this is 879 US dollars uh, retail suggested retail at their uh, website and others and uh, just a quick tour of the base You've got um, 30 inch neck here, block abalone um, dots here on the neck, um, passive electronics like most of the, uh, the Eastwood basses, very simple. Um, a tone switch, a three way tone switch here to, to go between the pickups. Uh, it's, it's under the weight of most instruments, it's incredibly light. It's very playable, um, and I don't know what else to say about it. It's, uh, I can think of tons of folks that would get a lot of use out of this. You know, people who have any sort of back problems, it's incredibly light, yet very stable. Uh, it doesn't feel like a toy. It feels like it's the appropriate size for the instrument that it is. Um, but uh, if you are small of stature and you don't want a 25 pound uh, coffee table base hanging around your neck or you've had uh, injuries or chronic pain or you're just you have you're used to having uh, three and four hour gigs this might be a great option for you um, like I said smaller scale length so if you don't have big hands uh, that might be real attraction other than that I, I have found all kinds of uses uh, for the tones in this uh, they, it punches through the mix very hard wonderful mid-range uh, but yet the low end doesn't sound flabby like some of the kind of punk rock uh, instruments, uh, the funkier, older instruments. I don't like the, the, the hollowness of the sound. This avoids that. It's got a very rich low end, as you can hear, and the, the mid-range punches out. It compares favorably with a lot of, uh, that back pickup thing really compares favorably with a lot of jazz basses. So if you want kind of a barky Jaco, Jaco Pastorius thing, you can do that. I had a lot of fun throwing on Maceo Parker records and playing this and it's uh, it's got a real fluency to how you can uh, Produce lines just the shorter scale a little bit for some reason. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. So man uh, go to Eastwood guitars online or any one of their fine dealers and uh, Check it out